Hello Indie Game fans! Part 1 of the best indie game content patches for June includes some pretty exciting updates both for early access titles and ongoing live service type indie games. And of course, we shall begin with the gorgeous record of Lodos War D-Lit in Wonder Labyrinth Stage 2 update. As shown off during the Japanese-centric Indie Live Expo, this content patch finally got released near the end of June and adds in new bosses, new magic, new bow mechanics, and even a gambling vendor. This early access Metroidvania title has already done superbly well even among channel subscribers since it feels great to play and only lacks more content. Absolutely love the look and cannot wait for the 1.0 release. Today we are proud to announce the Endless Multiverse 2.0, a complete overhaul for one of Demon Crawl's most ambitious game modes. The Endless Multiverse is a 10-stage loopable circuit designed for the most skilled Demon Crawl players. With thousands of possible stage skin combinations, each foray into the multiverse offers a new and often bizarre set of destinations. I'm always down to check out roguelite titles, and one very interesting title from last year is roguelite minesweeper Demon Crawl, which put out the Sweeping Heights update last month. This free update completely overhauls the endgame with a new meta progression system called Sigils, where special crafting materials can be used for further optimization. New masteries, new items, more powerful bosses, new stages, and most interestingly, the Endless Multiverse 2.0 feature shown off in this trailer, which is a procedurally generated mode that allows for near infinite replayability. When you go shopping in the Endless Multiverse, you will find a new type of legendary item, the Memento. These special items will allow you to carry some of your strength over into the next dimension, but only if you can meet the Memento's unique requirements. We have designed a memento around every mastery, and every item shop will contain one random memento. During your travels, you may be lucky enough to come across a few interdimensional storage vaults. This new landmark lets you deposit an item that can persist between dimensions. You may retrieve your item from the next vault and leave a different item in its place. As you progress through the multiverse, portals will deliver an increasing challenge thanks to a brand new mechanic called Portal Mods. These tricky portal effects will come into play at the beginning of your next dimension, giving you plenty of time to plan ahead. A portal mod might, for example, remove a special stage from the following dimension, spawn a couple nasty omens, or even entirely decommission your mastery. Yikes! The Endless Multiverse 2.0 is a small fraction of what's coming in Sweeping Heights, a free Demon Crawl expansion. The wonderful black and white hidden object game Hidden Folks is just so charming since all of the sound effects are done by human voice and the free on tour updates added more musically and concert themed levels. <laughs> the co-op stealth FPS GTFO has been a resounding success coming to us from the minds that brought you Payday 2 and really appeals to that hardcore crowd since it is very easy to fail if you don't know what you're doing. However, if you enjoy a very tightly designed co-op experience, this is one to get. With Rundown 3, The Vessel, adding a new area in the lab, 7 new expeditions to go on, and new enemies and gear.
I really love 2018's Mega Aquarium since this is a tycoon game that lets you build your own aquarium. And Freshwater Frenzy, naturally, adds in the ability to keep freshwater fish. I used to be a fish hobbyist myself and am more familiar with freshwater species since it is a hassle to set up a saltwater tank, so guppies, tetras, piranhas and more, and it also includes amphibious reptiles and adds even more to one of my favourite tycoon games. Tales of the Neon Sea released in 2019 and despite not being in early access, was strangely incomplete, but the final chapter released last month and is worth going back to. More neon goodness with Muse Dash 2nd Anniversary Patch. This bright and colourful anime two-lane rhythm game is just awesome, with a bunch of Asian pop songs to tap along to, with the update adding new songs, a new stage and more. Protestant princes are emboldened, and now half of my subjects follow a heretic faith. I was very surprised to see that the not so indie Europa Universalis 4, a game from 2013, did get a paid DLC titled Emperor last month. From what I know, this series is right up there with Civilization and Crusader Kings as 4X and Grand Strategy masterpieces, so it's nice to see that they're still making stuff for fans. But I shall not go into the technical details since I'm far from the expert in it. My requests while you still have a Catholic on the throne. The multiplayer focused Circle Empires just fully released earlier this year, and here we are with the first DLC, Forces of Nature. What I loved about this game is the sheer variety of factions and units, and this DLC adds 20 more. Two new leaders, new level ups for existing units, and even a new game mode titled Terraform. The action roguelite Space Robinson from last year was a pretty generic but well crafted title, and it got a simply titled Major Update in June, improving tutorials rebalancing the upgrade system to be more meta progression friendly and the usual optimization and tweaks so it's worth going back to. Once again, developer Clay makes an entry with Don't Starve Together, Walter, following the She Sells Seashells update from April.
this free update adds a new playable character in the slingshot wielding Walter, who has a companion doggo named Obi with him at all times. Mechanics are centered around her as well, so it should be a great addition to the game. In digging a little deeper, I did come to the realization that Clay Entertainment is actually quite a large studio and not that indie after all, so it will probably affect future coverage. But for putting out more free content and yet another gorgeously done trailer, it takes the number one spot. To see more of the big picture, check out these awesome videos and I will see you after the jump.